Hey, good morning. It's Rosalind back at you one more time. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, are home safe or at work safe and everything. Um, I'm still going through these ascension phases and it is no joke. <laughs> you know, come to find out it's all these things that I was going through. I, you know, I did further research and come to find out it's a Kundalini awakening. I start having these, it's like things that's going on with the back of my spine is like life changing, you know, and these ascensions, you know, I don't, they're, they're starting to get very intense to the point where I get angry a little bit, you know, a little aggravated, you know, um, cause I know it's just something I'm so used to suppressing a lot of the things that I go through, um, that I know I can't do that anymore. It's just, I have to deal with it and look at it for what it is. And um, basically deal with it, you know. Um, I don't know if anybody has actually gone through this, you know, Kundalini awakening. If you have, please, you know, drop me a line down at the bottom and let me know. Um, you know, how were you able to deal with it? <laughs> you know, if you if you're going through the ascension phases, what was what was the thing that actually made you okay? I got to deal with this, you know, because. You know, as humans, we deal with a lot of stuff every day. You never know what people are going through. Everybody has their own battles and their own demons that are fighting. And, you know, it, it was really intense for me. And it's just like, you know, I asked God, why am I going through this? You know, why do I keep going through things back to back to back to back? And um, I had to step out of my comfort zone, you know, stop thinking negative, you know. Because sometimes it gets hard for you to think positive when you feel like there's so many different things that's coming at you all at once. And you get, sometimes we get angry, you know. Nobody's perfect, you know, we're human. That's what we're supposed to do, show emotion. But, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard just to deal with the stuff that you're dealing with. Um, you know, all these, you know, the memories and the, you know, the... The hot cold flashes and you know I get very dizzy and my head's been hurting a lot like around this area and the whereabouts so um you know I just it you know I keep on looking at my numbers and stuff and they tell me step out my comfort zone just have faith you know and I do but I guess it's just sometimes when things get hard it kind of hinders you from being that way and I know I gotta stop that so um other than that, it was just, you know, something you have to deal with. You know, I just pray. I got to go ahead and meditate today again. Um, go out and, you know, the weather's probably be good today. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and start walking um, just to clear my mind and my thoughts and, oof, and the ringing of the ears. I get that a lot lately. Um, you know, and it just gets... To the point where it gets aggravating sometimes but you know i just don't know how long this is this awakening with the kundalini i, I get it every once in a while um especially sometimes after i meditate i start feeling vibrations coming from the back of my spine all the way up to my head and it feels weird um and i was talking to a friend of mine that i just met on the other side of the country, you know, and she's just like, I'm not depressed, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I don't have all these symptoms or whatever, but it just hurts me to see what all these people are going through, and she just didn't understand because it was confusing her, and it's just all the characteristics she had was of an indigo and an empath, and I, you know, I had to tell her, hey, you know, you have all these characteristics, and she was like, I don't know what an indigo is. And I said, I'm going to go ahead and send you some videos. And this should be able to enlighten you on everything that you're going through. And um, and that felt really good to actually do that. You know, it's just like, you know, you can see when somebody's going through something and you're like, hey, they're going through some of the stuff that I've been going through. You might be like me, you know. So I made sure she got her stuff, you know, and I said, I hope, you know, all that helped her. You know, because I know it sure has helped me, you know, looking at different videos, reading up on things, you know, basically taking myself back to school, learning who I truly am. And um, hopefully this ascension phase and awakening or whatever, I could get past this quick. Because <laughs> I know I'm just so ready to see my family and, um, you know, my dad's helping me 
all the time, you know, he, he sees when I get frustrated or whatever, and he, you know, he tells me, you have so much strength that you just don't, you, I guess, you know, I, I sell myself short sometimes. And I told him, you know, it, it's hard, you know, going through everything I went through on top of losing him. And, you know, uh, the best thing about it is that, you know, if I concentrate enough, I can be able to talk to him if I wanted to, or he'll just do it automatically by itself. But, um, you know, it was, it was really hard, you know, for the last few days, but then it got okay. And then I was fine, you know, and I know my family's like, you know, you'll be fine one minute and you'll be aggravated the next and you, you don't understand, you know, because with them, they don't understand stuff like this. It's like, if I start speaking about stuff like that, it creeps them out. So I can't really tell them without them, you know, looking at me funny and thinking something's wrong with me or whatever. But I'm like, no, I just look at things totally different than, you know, the way everybody else does or, you know, people that are not going through this, you know, um, and it's just something they don't understand. And I just told them, you know, it's just the better half of me, you know, I don't want to be like I used to be, you know, always thinking about negative thoughts and stuff like that, because, you know, that can get really bad. So I just try not to do that. So, um, I hope everybody has a good day. I just had to come back and tell you guys about the suspension phase and the Kundalini awakening. Um, if you have any, you know, if you have any stories that you have went through the same thing, please write me. Um, send me a comment, like, like the video, share, and you have a good day. Peace, love, bye.